The residents of West Allis have always been diligent and taken their civic duty seriously when it comes to voting. For the important elections that lie ahead, it's important to know about changes that will affect local polling places. Know the new rules for your vote to count. When you arrive at the polling location, be prepared for several new procedures. One will be to show a photo ID. The other will be to sign the poll book before receiving a ballot. What will be acceptable forms of photo ID? The easiest form of photo ID will be your valid Wisconsin driver's license. If you don't have a driver's license, then the next best option will be to use a Wisconsin Department of Transportation issued photo ID card which can be issued at any DOT office. Also on the list of acceptable forms of ID are a U.S. passport and a military ID card. For those who may be new United States citizens, you may use a certificate of naturalization issued within the last two years. Other forms of photo ID that can be used include an unexpired Wisconsin driver's license or state ID receipt. An ID card issued by a federally recognized Indian tribe in Wisconsin will also be accepted. College students may use an unexpired ID issued by a Wisconsin accredited university or college that contains an issuance date, student signature, and expiration date within two years of issuance, along with a separate document showing proof of current enrollment. Some people will be eligible to vote, but they do not have an acceptable ID. Learn how to obtain a free ID for voting by visiting a website set up by the Government Accountability Board. Enter gab.wi.gov and click on Voter Photo ID. There are exemptions and exceptions in the following cases. Photo ID is not required for these absentee voters. Military electors, voters who are permanently abroad, or confidential electors. Photo ID is not required, but is replaced with alternative requirements for these absentee voters. Indefinitely confined voters, nursing home and other care facility residents who have ballots delivered by a special voting deputy. And finally, residents of care facilities who are not visited by a special voting deputy. If you have questions about any photo ID issues, please contact the West Allis Clerk Treasurer's Office at 414-302-8200. While photo ID will affect all voters, there are other changes that will affect only some residents. For instance, those who have recently relocated to West Allis must meet the new residency requirements, which has changed from 10 days to 28 consecutive days prior to an election when registering to vote. Other changes include voters can no longer use a corroborating witness when registering to vote. Voters can register to vote at the clerk's office until 5 p.m. the Friday before an election. In-person absentee voting at the clerk's office will begin no earlier than the third Monday before an election and end at 5 p.m. the Friday before an election. In-person absentee voters will be required to show a photo ID. The new law prohibits absentee voting and voter registration the Saturday, Sunday, or Monday before an election. Absentee voting requests for ballots sent by mail must be accompanied by a photocopy of an acceptable form of voter ID. Once again, if you have questions about changes to voting procedures, please contact the West Allis Clerk Treasurer's Office at 414-302-8200. The City of West Allis has completed redistricting. Your ward, polling place, and the various election districts representing your area may have changed. Here is the complete list of 25 wards that make up the City of West Allis. The polling place for Ward 1 is Liberty Heights Park Fieldhouse, 6101 West Orchard Street. The polling place for Ward 2 is the West Allis Police Satellite Station. 6900 West National Avenue. 
The polling place for Ward 3 is Longfellow School, 2211 South 60th Street. The polling place for Ward 4 is Fire Station Number 2, 2040 South 67th Place. The polling place for Ward 5 is Longfellow School, 2211 South 60th Street. In Ward 6, the polling place is West Allis City Hall, 7525 West Greenfield Avenue. In Ward 7, the polling place is Heritage West Allis, 7901 West National Avenue. In Ward 8, the polling place is the West Allis Public Library, 7421 West National Avenue. In Ward 9, the polling place is McCarty Park Pavilion, 2567 South 78th Street. In Ward 10, the polling place is the Recreation Center, 2450 South 68th Street. La Follette Park Pavilion at 9418 West Washington Street is the polling place for Ward 11. Madison School at 1117 South 104th Street is the polling place for Ward 12. Marion University at 1227 South 116th Street is the polling place for Ward 13. Franklin Field House at 1964 South 86th Street is the polling place for Ward 14. Woodrow Wilson School Field House at 8710 West Orchard Street is the polling place for Ward 15. The polling place for Ward 16 is Frank Lloyd Wright School. 9501 West Cleveland Avenue. The polling place for Ward 17 is Central High School, 8516 West Lincoln Avenue. The polling place for Ward 18 is Frank Lloyd Wright School, 9501 West Cleveland Avenue. The polling place for Ward 19 is the Village at Manor Park, 3023 South 84th Street. The polling place for Ward 20 is the Recreation Center, 2450 South 68th Street. In Ward 21, the polling place is Irving School Field House, 10230 West Grant Street. In Ward 22, the polling place is Nathan Hale High School, 11601 West Lincoln Avenue. In Ward 23, the polling place is General Mitchell School Field House, 10125 West Montana Avenue. In Ward 24, the polling place is Nathan Hale High School, 11601 West Lincoln Avenue. In Ward 25, the polling place is Nathan Hale High School, 11601 West Lincoln Avenue. You are an informed voter and you want your vote to count. The City of West Allis also wants your vote to count. All these changes and even more detailed information can be found at www.westalliswi.gov. Or feel free to contact the West Allis Clerk Treasurer's Office at 414-302-8200.